Was that your question, Diane? Yeah, because I noticed that the cheaper paper, which I've used, it. I don't advise using inexpensive. Off. Yeah, because your results will not be as nice, and then you'll think it's just because I'm not doing a good job. Yeah, I thought, well, I'm not very good on start out cheap, right? That's what I thought too. <laughs> and, the, and every book I read said, Joyce, don't do that. And, uh, but, you know, finally I gave in and, and uh, I just went ahead and bought professional grade and, and it shows in your work. The my paper. My grandchildren use my good paint and they're interesting passages. Have I got my warms and my cools? Have I imparted some great brush strokes? Uh, I think I have done that and I have uh, used uh, my palette knife to add interest. I'm going to put a little bit more here. Why? I don't know. I just wanted to do that. And uh, so now we're going to paint this one in the back. And so same puddle, but I'm just going to have to lighten it up a little bit. And I'm going to have to blue it down more. So it's going to lean more toward the cool. This one's leaning more to the warm. So we'll get that same puddle. We'll lighten it up a little bit with just adding some water. And we'll do the same thing. Now this one's further back, so it wouldn't have as much detail, right? Not the edges can't be quite as fancy. So I'll have to keep that in mind. And so if you begin painting this way, you are going to discover how much easier it is to paint. Don't worry about those lines that you made. Don't let them hold you hostage. Just uh, paint out beyond them if you feel that you need that stroke. They're just a guide. They're just a guide. Okay, so now we want all of the same colors in this back one, uh, but just more blue. Now, when our pine trees in the winter time, they get heavy with snow, which would be white. Do what now? Here, where is one? Yeah. <laughs> I, I like okay. snow. My does not. Snow. Does not. We're going to take the same color that we've got here, and we're going to start embellishing these edges just a little bit more, and then we'll we'll get our uh, our uh, our light. I mean, our black going here. And just be fun with it. Uh, I sometimes do a little more than I might do depending on the painting that I'm doing, uh, but I want to be able to illustrate as much as possible uh, of what is possible with these brushes and things when I do these little uh, demos. And we'll put a little bit of a, a landscape uh, line back here. And then we'll take a wet brush and we'll just kind of soften that a little bit. And down below this one, just to demonstrate, I know that one doesn't have it, but uh, we'll, uh, we'll do some grassy passage. To this back one that I did because I probably should have done that it's further back so it should be a little cooler than this first one Sienna and make that real dark. 
you know, you could use sap green too. I'll put a little sap green in it just for the heck of it. And that will make it a little cooler. Okay, so now we're not gonna need a lot of this, but we need that value. So I'm just going to start placing some of this uh, where I think I want it, not really looking at that uh, other one because I don't wanna be trying to copy that. I wanna use my intuition uh, for placing these marks. I'll dress him up, this one up, a little more than I will these back ones. these back ones now. Lesser. Finer. Now that's still full strength black. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sometimes mm -hmm. you, uh, you will have to add a teeny bit of water with to get it to move or you'll have more mm -hmm. all yeah. dry brush, mm -hmm. brush. But basically it's pure pigment and I'm just going to add a little bit of decoration up here to this one and maybe to this one. 